Hello, everybody. Welcome. Happy Saturday, not Friday. <laughs> Hi. Okay, so I know some of y'all might be late to joining because Zorel has her birthday bash drop right now. So uh, if you forgot, hurry up, go check out on your cart and come back. <laughs> uh, did not want to go without saying that. Uh, she's got some amazing goodies for her birthday bash. So yeah, go check it out real quick. <laughs> Oh man, look at y'all coming on tonight. Okay, so somehow Suzanne always comments like 10 minutes before we start. So this was like 10 minutes ago. She's at Connuga. I think it's in Chattanooga, Tennessee, right, Suzanne? Um, she's got a booth there. So hello and welcome. And then, of course, we've got Michelle made it, made it in time. And we've got Alex too over on YouTube. So hi, Catherine. What, what do you mean, what the heck? You didn't see my post. I had to reschedule Friday, so I decided to do a Saturday instead. Um, I got a last minute invite to an event last night and um, really couldn't pass it up. So uh, I had to reschedule this to uh, go go attend that. And uh, it was wonderful. But um, I'm so glad I'm on here with y'all today. So today we're going to talk about our new location, answer any of y'all's questions related to that. Um, we're going to announce the location contest guessing giveaway winner um, and have a special surprise related to that as well. And then we're going to talk about all the vendors that have been added since the last one in chat, plus one I have not announced anywhere yet. And uh, so lots of goodies for today. And then, of course, in typical wine and chat fashion, you can ask a question at any time and we will. We will answer it wherever there's like a nice little lull in the conversation. So ask away, ask any questions, um, and we're here to help. So just, you know, feel free, comment away, whatever platform you're on. You're on. This is a, um, a, a streaming platform that we use. So if I see this, when I pick up your name, it says Facebook user, and I can't see your lovely face and name. Uh, there is a link on Facebook that says streamyard.com slash Facebook. You can click that and give Facebook permission um, to allow us to see your name and comments. It's just on the platform. I can't see it. But if you don't want to do that, you can just add your name at the end. So I know who is commenting and who's talking to me. So uh, feel free to do that as well. And hey, Michelle, coming all the way from YouTube land as well. <laughs> I know it's good for you. I figured you would be excited. I didn't know you didn't realize we were scheduling it. So yes, we're doing an untypical wine and chat today uh, on a 2 p.m. on a Saturday. So let's see how this one goes. Let's see how many of y'all want to join us. Uh, so hello. Hi, welcome. Hello. We got all the comments coming in. Okay. So I did want to start off. I'm sure most of y'all have seen it, but we are going to a new location in 2023. And it's not new as in we're replacing Florida. It's new as in we have two locations now officially announced for 2023. So in February of 2023, we will be going to, I'm going to show a video. Okay. So if y'all haven't seen this, this is what I wanted to share it. It's um, the video is based out of our TikTok, um, but you can see it on our YouTube or TikTok. It's on Facebook. It's on Instagram. It's, we posted it everywhere. So I'll share it here real quick with y'all. Uh, go ahead. You'll pick up real quick where it's from. God bless Texas. Pushy little sunshine, maybe make the water deep. Then he gave us moonlight for all the world to see. Well, everybody knows that the Lord wants in mysterious ways. <laughs> okay, so I hope y'all can hear the volume on that. If not, it's a very catchy tune that's been stuck in mine and uh, Michelle's head nonstop <laughs> for two weeks now. Um, so yes, we're going to Texas in February of 2023. Here's the official information on that. If you wanted to, you know, jot it down. Um, 
Oh, hello. We got all the people joining us. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we're gonna go out to, it's the Dallas-Fort Worth area or the official location is Grapevine, Texas, just like Gabler Palms is Kissimmee, Florida, but everybody says it's Orlando. Um, <laughs> it's very similar to that. So uh, it's Grapevine, Texas. Uh, best way to get to this location is through Dallas-Fort Worth uh, Airport, DFW, or Dallas Love Field Airport. They're both fairly close. DFW is closer, but certain airlines go to certain places. They're both really conveniently located right next to the Gaylord. It's so beautiful there. It's um, the closest Gaylord sister hotel. Um, it looks, let's call it size-wise, similar to Gaylord Palms, but they're both very themed differently. Uh, they still both have these beautiful atrium uh which is just gorgeous to walk through and you just always stop when you walk in the lobby you're like oh my gosh but it's very very texas themed very texas themed and um it's just beautiful the food there is amazing uh i we ate there the entire weekend week and weekend i don't know i was there for so many days um so but it was just so beautiful everybody was so friendly the conference area that we have for there is actually not in the convention center it's in the new addition they just added on to gaylord texan it's uh called the vineyard tower so you can go look that up as well they have some awesome uh videos that we're going to be sharing as well here uh in the next couple months we're working with Gaylord Texan on getting y'all some really good uh, footage of what everything looks like. If anybody watches DCC, the Dallas Cowboys cheerleader show, when they did the whole COVID series and they were in um, a hotel the whole time, that actual area, fun, fun fact, the actual area that they filmed in is where our convention is going to be at for, for Gaylord Texan next year. So you can be like, huh. I'm in the same space as the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders <laughs> from uh, 20. 21, I think it was, I don't know, Michelle's going to tell me if I'm wrong on that statement. I think it was last year. So, but yeah, they had the whole section blocked off. The rooms we're getting are wonderful. They are conveniently located to the Vineyard Tower. So there's rooms that are directly connected to that uh, that that convention space. So it's not the convention center, it's the new tower, but it has these gorgeous ballrooms and meeting spaces that it's like a separate convention center almost and uh really close rooms with this gorgeous lake view they have a lake view we don't get that even in uh florida so uh oh it was the 2020 season i'm sorry it was two seasons ago see michelle corrected me <laughs> um but yeah so go ahead if y'all have questions related to this feel free to ask them i see a couple coming in if we purchase an sme gift card if we purchase one, can we use it towards class kits or at the expo? Thinking about asking for so magical gift cards. You can't use them at the expo for our vendors, but you can use it at the expo for swag purchases. Anything that's directly sold by so magical is applicable for those gift cards. Um, and then, yes, you can use them towards your class kits and you can use them towards your tickets. Anything you can buy on the website you can use a gift card towards. I hope that answers your question. And then we are, so everybody's aware, we're we're very, very close um, to having the new website released. So that's why you don't see a lot of the, the Texan information on there yet. We don't have a lot of the, the upcoming Florida information or the vendors listed on there just yet because it's all getting built on the new website right now. So that's including a whole new system for booking your classes. It's going to be amazing. We're very excited for this. So it's been in work for, for a little bit now, quite a few months. Um, and we're very excited that it's coming out. But just keep that in mind. So all the gift card process will be different in the future. If you bought a gift card and haven't used it yet, you will still be able to use it. Just keep, keep that in mind. You might want to wait just a little bit longer to purchase it um, until the new website drops. Oh, hello from Canada. Hi, Jean. Welcome. Deanna, this looks like some Ray influence. Okay, so I can finally say, because we had to keep so many secrets, we couldn't post any photos while we were out where we were out. It, that's very hard to do when we're hanging out together. So um, I made the trip out at first by myself, and then Michelle was able to join me as well out in Texan. Uh, as you all know, we were supposed to go out 
the week prior, but the ice storms got us and we got canceled left and right. We tried very hard to get out there. So we had to reschedule the whole thing. Um, but we were able to make it out there. And of course, if I'm going to DFW, I got to go see my buddy Ray from Emporium Threads. Uh, she's one of our vendors. So uh, she's coming back for her second year. And yeah, of course, I had to meet up with, with Ray. Of course. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, she, she might have had a little influence. That the whole car ride was uh, a tour by Ray through uh, downtown Dallas. So we set up Ducky on her dashboard and we just drove around and she was showing me. There was so many cool little things that I didn't know about Dallas. I've been there a couple times, a few times. Uh, <laughs> but it was very, it was very fun and very interesting to see. So. Yes, both Ray and Michelle had some influence on uh, that that TikTok video reveal. <laughs> oh, it was Annette. Hi, Annette. Glad you switched over to YouTube. Yes, woohoo, Texas. <laughs> yes, I wore my boots almost the whole time. Um, broke them in. I'm very excited. We might even go to a rodeo tonight. I don't know. <laughs> Just because I'm in the I'm in the cowboy spirit. <laughs> yes, George, it's amazing. We're so we're so excited. Oh, yes. And Michelle was uh, loved. There was a restaurant called the Tech Texan Eatery Tech. I can't remember what it's called now. It was what it was the equivalent to Wreckers at Gaylord Texan. It was like their sports bar, huge TVs and like sports memorabilia everywhere. It's very nice, very open feeling. Um, that they had a drink there called it Tequila Mockingbird. That was very yummy. Yes, they had Tex-Mex, barbecue, margaritas. Uh, they have, like all the Gaylords, they have um, the Hickory restaurant. That's like their very upscale restaurant. They had a wonderful Italian restaurant as well that we had. Um, I always, when I go to the Gaylords, I always try to eat everywhere. <laughs> um, are you expecting similar vendors and classes? Yes. So as we expand to new locations, we will still be so magical at our heart. So we will still focus on a large variety of sewing and crafting vendors and classes. You know, cosplay, costuming, bag making, um, quilting, basic sewing, um, woodworking, resin. I mean, you name it, we'll, we'll, we'll incorporate it. So, yeah, we've already started working and trying to reach out to talk to vendors uh, reeling them in. We have a couple vendors that I know are interested in doing multiple locations. So we might see some awesome vendors, both in Florida and in Texas, but we have some great vendors who are already ready to sign up for next year. We just, uh, we're working on getting that vendor application ready on that new website. So when that drops, we will be able to sign them up and we'll start taking teacher applications as well, very shortly for the Texan location as well. So if, anybody's interested in coming out to teach out there as well, or it's easier for you to get to Texas, you're more than welcome to apply to teach and vend. We're, we're thrilled. Yeah. So it's going to be very similar. Um, we might get some good variety for people who can't make it to Florida. Uh, maybe Texas is closer to them. Um, so you might see some new vendors. You might see, but you'll still see have those same core. We'll still have a fashion show. We'll still have, you know, nighttime classes and nighttime parties. Um, we'll still have early check-in. Uh, so we'll still have the D-Stash Bash room. Don't worry. I'm going to be hauling D-Stash Bash stuff all across the country. It's going to be insane. So, uh, yes, Fran, we can't wait. It's going to be so fun. Um, you better come out and teach too, right? Everybody loves Fran. Fran is one of the fave teachers, so we got to drag her to everywhere we go. Um, gift cards for raffle tickets, too. Yeah, we'll have it to where gift cards can be used at the our, our swag table, which is where you'll also be able to purchase your raffle tickets. So, yeah, so if you want to get an early start and start saving, you can buy your gift cards in advance. <laughs> um I got to go set up a GoFundMe page. Good luck with that, Catherine. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, oh, yes. It was called Old Hickory Steakhouse. Thank you. You're filling in my brain where I'm 
I'm trying to remember all the other information, but yes, Zapoli was the Italian restaurant. It was also uh, Zapoli and Old Hickory required reservations at the Texan, but highly recommending eating there. Um, I've had Old Hickory at a couple Gaylor locations. Always amazing. They're all themed a little bit differently, but it's still amazing food. The Texan has like a whole smoking pit section outside and they have like a little vineyard at the backside of Old Hickory. So you can sit out there normally, but you can also eat out by the vineyard that they have. It's tiny. It's not like a massive vineyard, but it's so cute and quaint. So lovely. I I just, I can't talk to y'all about how much y'all thought I loved the Gaylord Texan, I, I think, or the Gaylord Palms. Texan might be beating it out right now. It's just so nice. Um, yes, yay, Texas. We're very excited. Oh, yes. And the fashion show location that we picked for the Gaylord Texan is amazing. Um, I feel like it's going to bring uh, people's inner, inner like fashionista out because the setup is just unique. And I've, I just know we're going to get some amazing photos. <laughs> Okay. Um, so yeah. So any more questions about Gaylord Texan? I know there's one question I, I haven't seen on here yet, but I'm going to answer it because I know I've been getting it here and there. So I'm just going to um, spit it out now because as we continue growing, this question might come up more and more is can tickets be transferred to a different location? And the answer is no. Unfortunately, we only allow ticket transfers to a different person for that same location there's the tickets are non-refundable once they're purchased um and so think of it like this this is how i've been um explaining it to a couple people who have asked me is um if i bought tickets to let's say see kevin hart and he and i bought it in tampa but uh, tampa's not gonna work for me and i know he's gonna be in orlando they're not gonna let me transfer my ticket to orlando um i, I bought it for that venue so it's the same concept is we're not going to transfer to different locations your ticket, but so you can transfer that ticket off to a different person and purchase a ticket for Texan if that location works out better for you. So I just, I did want to put that out there because I know that question is going to come up here and there. So I did want to let y'all know. So they're not transferable to different locations, just different people. Okay. Um, any more questions, please let me know. But I will announce the winner, the, the contest winner, to uh, who guessed. We had over 350 comments and guesses on the give the the new location post uh, contest, whatever you want to call it. And out of it, I think we had 43, 43 correct guesses, and we allowed Grapevine, Dallas, Fort Worth, and Dallas and Fort like those variations because. To me, it's like saying Gaylord Palms is in Orlando. A lot of people are going to say that. So if it was in the category of DFW and Grapevine, then we allow that as an entry. There was actually somebody, I think it was Lindsay, posted the exact address. <laughs> um, don't worry, Lizette, you didn't miss us. We're still here. We just started only 18 minutes ago. <laughs> okay, but before we get to the contest winner, I did want to talk about... Um, oh, I did want to mention one more thing. Tickets for Gaylord Texan, we're going to release the dates for, for when those tickets will be available here in the next few months. This spring, we're going to announce it. Um, they aren't going to come out yet, but I did want to give those who need to schedule work, start looking at flights, things like that, the ability to go look and make sure that they had availability on these dates. So tickets and hotel bookings won't be available for, for just a little bit of time. So just bear with us and keep an eye on the emails and social media. Uh, we'll keep you all updated as we get all the information out. But again, also look out for the new website because as that comes out and starts rolling out, a lot of this information will be available and so easy to read on the new site uh, for each location. Okay, let's see. I'm going to keep this little scrolly thing down here because I feel like people come on. <laughs> okay, so I want to talk about some vendors. So there's one vendor I haven't announced yet who is brand new to us, and this is Natural Nerd Fabrics and Hardware. And I'll go ahead and share their website. They're coming to join us. They are a new company for us as a vendor. Here's their website. Um, they have both fabric and hardware. 
really cute stuff and just i mean they got a ton of like really unique turn locks i know all my nurse fans i got we have so many nurse and medical uh individuals who are guests now in our group so look how cool these anatomical hearts are i just love that lots of book themes edgar Allan poe i know she did a whole round on edgar Allan poe i thought they were really cool some really neat magnetic snaps so definitely check out her website but i'm going to drop the official announcement here uh in the next day or two so that y'all can get all her social media she's on facebook she has a facebook group under that same name natural nerd fabrics and hardware uh she's got a, this is her website uh, you can Google it and find her as well, but I'll make sure those links are up here shortly. But yes, new vendors. We love all our vendors joining us. I think we're at, oh my gosh, what are we at? We're over 25 vendors now strong. And uh, don't worry, we have room. So anybody who wants to apply still or know somebody who wants to apply to be a vendor, the application is up on the website they can go under the application set section of the current website and uh, there's a vendor application there. Um, and yes, so definitely, definitely check that out. Tell them to go apply. It's still open. We still have space. Don't worry. We got a bigger space for this year. Y'all are going to love it. And details on how that's all set up is going to come out on the next wine and chat. Okay, so one of the other vendors that we've already announced these vendors, but I did want to mention them because I haven't talked about them on Wine and Chat yet, is we have So Awesome Supplies. Uh, she was formerly a part of Seem So Awesome, and I know they did uh, split off, but Seem So or So Awesome Supplies is joining us and bringing some amazing supplies with us, uh, both fabrics, vinyls, um, hardware, different tools and supplies. So she's got some amazing lineup of things. We did announce her already on all social media platforms. So you can go check out that post and click her links. And then of course we have Saya Swag. I know a lot of y'all saw that, uh, that she's coming and she's bringing thread. Thread y'all. <laughs> I'm very excited. We finally got a, um, a thread vendor. She's got various sizes and a ton of colors. So you can go check out her site as well. Um, Saya Swag is also heavily known for her YouTube videos. So check out her YouTube as well. Um, I heard a rumor she applied to be a teacher. So we'll see. Teachers should start getting announced here shortly. We have uh, been going through those applications heavily. So yes. Um, yay, Sass. Yes, we're very excited for Sass to come out. Annette, yes, we're all going to be broke. I'm, I'm not going in the vendor hall, except for when there's an, um, I'm needed because I will want to buy all the things. Oh, Sass has retail opening on Monday. That's right. Thank you, Michelle, for reminding me. Um, yeah, she's got her retail opening up. She's got zip, really unique zipper ends. I've never seen zipper ends like this before. They're, um, inspired zipper ends. Michelle posted some photos in the group, I think yesterday as well. And this morning, um, and zipper tape, she's got a couple other things. They're really neat. And yes, we love SAS or we love Sia Swag. So many S's in vendor names this year. Yes, Terry, we're ex very excited for Sia. She's such a sweetheart and we're so glad she's coming out. Oh my gosh. You're going to love her when you meet her. She's, she is like really, really sweet in person. Oh my gosh. Yes, there is a time lapse video to prove the teacher app sorting. Um, I'm actually going to drop that as a TikTok <laughs> here shortly. I was going to drop it sooner, but I was like, I feel like somebody's going to guess what airport we were in. When we were sitting in the airport on our first attempt to fly out to Texas, um, we uh, we make a working office out of wherever we are. So we, we sat out on the floor and we sprawled out our papers and our laptop and we went to work on those applications. So don't worry, they're in work. Uh, yes, yeah, so we've got Saya and then we've got So Girly Fun coming as well. She's got some amazing lineup of products, really cool stuff. Um, she's been uh, shared recently, I think on Oka Roots as well. A lot of these have been shared on Oakla Roots recently. So make sure you're watching her stories because she highlights a lot, um, a lot of different things. 
Let's see. Um, they couldn't figure out the airport pick with the duck. Oh my gosh, y'all were cracking me up with the when we posted the airport pick with the little ducky. Everybody was guessing what airport it was. That was Jacksonville because we were flying out of Jacksonville originally. And <laughs> like it's flat. It's gotta be Texas. It's gotta be Arizona. I was dying. Like, nope, we're still in Florida. <laughs> Is she coming to Texas? No, all these vendors that we're talking about right now are for Florida, for November's Florida event. We do not have applications open for Texas just yet. They um, they will be open here shortly. The announcement for that will come this spring. So we're, we're trying to get those out as quickly as possible. No, nobody for Texas will be announced anytime soon just yet. We're just announcing all the, there's so many Florida based vendors or Florida vendors, vendors coming to the Florida. So magical. There you go. I can talk. Yes. Yeah, so Saya is coming to Florida is what she's currently signed for. Yes. We love Oka Roach. Jess is, uh, she's also a sweetheart. She came out to so magical last year. So we're hoping that she wants to make an appearance this year. But um, yes, we we love Oka Roots. We love watching her stories. So So Girly Fun's coming. So Majestic's also coming out. Both So Girly Fun and So Majestic were sponsors for us last year and couldn't make it out, of course, COVID. It kind of put a damper on a lot of things. But they're both coming out this year. So we're very thrilled to finally get to meet them in person and finally have their products being sold at So Magical this year at Florida as well. We also have a new vendor for us, which is So Many Creations, another great, great company. We have such a good variety this year. A lot of them have So in the name, but definitely go check out all these, um, all these drops that we had. The last one we had that we're very stoked about is... Fandea Fabrics. Fandea? Fandea. I don't know how to properly say that. But she's coming out as well and bringing beautiful fabrics. Definitely check out her site as well. Um, may or may not have bought a few things from her in the past. <laughs> I think I've bought um, from quite a few of these actually. So highly recommend you check out all these sites. Go follow their groups and their pages. Give them some love. Welcome them. Um, and then a lot of these will be appearing on Wine and Chats in the future when we do vendor spotlights. All right. So who wants me to announce the winners for our new location contest? Okay, let me show y'all. So um, we have a prize pack. And so we, uh, I think Michelle posted it and said, what would y'all want to see? So we were like toying with the idea of like, what should we do? So we have like a prize pack because some people were like, oh, we want it to be, um, we want it to be something from the location. Some people want to like gift cards, you know, all sorts of fun things. Okay. So first we have a mix of things from Texas, which um, I, I got creative with this and we're trying to have some fun. Okay. So first, this is coming. These are going to be heavily padded and wrapped up. So don't worry. Um, <laughs> so, but first we've got, some pop soda whatever you want to call it from texas um we've got root beer and orange dream the dublin texas brand i heard it was very popular in texas i was re recommended by texans themselves um so i got two different bottles so you can get the taste of texas before you go and then we've got a really cool texas sticker it's got a really cool texture on it and then i mean it's a it's a Texas thimble. Can you see it? It's very bright. There you go. It's a little Texas thimble. I thought it was adorable. <laughs> and so Mojo Sews actually, can you see this here? Let me take away my little comment thing, my banner. Okay. So this hoodie is actually made by Mojo Sews. I know a lot of y'all follow her. Um, it's so cool. She put my name on one sleeve and then this is my favorite part. I think this is so cute. Um, so <laughs> she put this on the other sleeve. She made this. Michelle um, got one as well with her name on it. Hers was like a sand color. I know she was going to post it, a photo of it. Or I think she did already. Um, but also she made us, because when we were going out originally, it was supposed to be very, very cold. It was not as cold this time, so I didn't need to wear a beanie. But she also made us an extra beanie, and we're giving this away in the pack as well. It has a So Magical Expo logo on it. So if it is cold in Texas or when you come to Florida in November and you're cold, you can wear a beanie. <laughs> 
So thank you so much, Mojo, for um, sponsoring and donating. It's so magical, Expo Beanie. And we're also going to throw in a $10 So Magical Expo gift card to the winner as well. But because it's Texas and we do everything bigger when we go to Texas, I'm also going to give away one all weekend ticket. So that we're going to do two prizes. We're going to spin the wheel twice. The first one's going to be all those fun goodies. Hey, Melanie. Melanie, I talked about your retail drop and I feel like my attendance went down when it happened. Just saying. <laughs> um, Okay, but we're gonna give away the the soda, the Texas swag, the hood, the beanie, and the ten dollar gift card is gonna be prize number one, and prize number two is gonna be an all weekend ticket to Gaylord Texan in February. So I'm gonna share my screen, and I'm gonna I loaded all the names in already. <laughs> That's okay. It's my fault, Melanie, because I didn't realize your retail drop was the same time as um well as as the my rescheduled thing all right so i've got all the names loaded in here let me see can i make this like look better nope are you not gonna let me do it hold on one sec i'm trying to get the wheel big and let me do it earlier all right we're just gonna go like this <laughs> all right so we're going to spin the wheel um, I'm gonna go over to the other page. So there was 43 entrants, 43 people who guessed right. And of those 43, there was like a hundred, there are 350 entries. So let's see who is winning the Texas prize pack with all the goodies. Uh 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 is it gonna stop? Where's it gonna stop? Jeanette McNew. I'm gonna write your name down. I'm gonna take a picture of this. Congrats. You won um, all those Texas goodies. So I'll make sure to tag her later. And um, get, I just need your address so I can send you all the goodies and the, with the gift card and everything. So congrats. But I'm going to spin again. And we're going to give away the all weekend ticket to Gaylord Texan for February. So let's see. Drum roll. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that's fun. Like, perfect. Tonda Pratt, you won the all weekend ticket for Gaylord Texan. So, congrats. I forgot to take a picture. Tonda Pratt. I'm going to remember that. <laughs> um, so, uh, congrats to you both. Oh, yes. Everybody's congratulating. Yay. Woohoo. Um, so, congrats. And I will make sure that y'all get your prizes. But thank you, everybody who guessed. Um, some of y'all had some interesting guesses. Um, I think the what was it? The butt Minnesota or butt something cracked me up. Uh, whoever posted that one. Uh, lots of Anaheim's, lots of Tennessee, lots of um, lots of Nashville. I noticed. Um, yes, see you in Texas, Tonda for sure. Congratulations. Yeah, Melanie, it will be on your birthday <laughs> next year. So now we have to. Now you have to come out, and you're going to. So, by the way, if anybody doesn't know, Melanie owns Zorel Fabrics and Hardware. Is it the full name? Uh, we just call you Zorel. Um, so, yeah, now you have to come out. Now we have to have a, a Zorel birthday party for you. I heard there's quite a few birthdays during that week. So, we picked a good weekend. And it's right after Valentine's Day. So, it's perfect. Everybody tell your significant others that this is what you want for Valentine's. Yeah. We, we're gonna, we've got the whole thing. Yep. Pack your boots and your shorts. <laughs> Weather is ever changing. I'm telling you, I had a very large mix of clothing in my suitcase. I had, I had my leggings and I had, I had sweatpants. And I had hoodie. I actually didn't wear my hoodie, but I wore my Texas spirit jersey. If y'all saw it in the video, we, we had Texas spirit jerseys. So we are going to start with the spirit jerseys having, specific location so on the back it'll say so magical expo is one option and then we'll also have a so magical florida option for florida and then we're going to have a so magical texas location or so magical texas option for the back as well and then the front you can pick um the state with the logo on it or you can pick one of our other tons of designs so when the new website rolls out we're going to have all those available so you can even pre-order them and you can get them sent to you ahead of the expo and you can just come prepared for your swag 
shorts and coats in the same day. It, I'm telling you, DFW is like being in Orlando. I feel like I'm at home, but with the, the cowboy spirit. <laughs> and it's the week before your partner's birthday. That's so awesome. There you go. See, it's birthday and Valentine's Day celebration going around for Texas next year. I'm so excited. Oh, and it's President's Day weekend, so teachers have a long weekend according to Mama Grin's school calendar. I didn't realize that. I'm so bad with keeping up with, like, the um, the non-traditional <laughs> holidays, you know? The big ones I can remember. I know when Valentine's is. I know when Easter is, even though Easter's always changing, too. <laughs> um, snowstorm last at this time, and this year it's 60 and sunny. Yeah, if you go look at the history, um, it's once every, like, eight eight or so years is when they have like a freak snowstorm during this time of the year. So we timed it just right. It happened last year. So we have another like seven years before it's going to happen again. That's, that's my, um, that's my process, my thought process on that, but they have some huge events out there during this time of year. So we're in gun company with, with the event events out there. Oh, yeah. Mama Grin is pumped that it's one less day for her to take off. Good chocolate, baby. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's going to be so much fun. I'm very excited for Texas. All right. What else do we have today? Anybody else have questions on Gaylord Texan? You're more than welcome to ask. You can also ask about Gaylord, Florida, which um, for 2022 is no November 4th through the 6th, if you don't already have that written down. Um, and... Yeah, so we'll have all the information um, going on both on the new website. So you can see both schedules. You can see um, when classes are going to come out for both. You're going to see be able to see the vendor listings for both. Um, so it's just it's going to be great. Is Are you going to be the same size as Florida? Yes. So the spaces that we got for 2023 are the same approximately the same size not exactly um killer texan i'm trying to think the numbers in my head but yeah we got a really large room block the really large room block for 2023 for um our locations um very large so fingers crossed we don't have the same issue that we've been having um we're not starting off smaller we're starting off the same as we are for this year in florida and then Florida for next year is in work and we're planning bigger for Florida for next year. So we're kind of, you know, we're growing in increments here. So Florida will be in its fifth year. So by the way, the reason why we're going big and we're adding the new locations next year is next year is year five of So Magical Expo. So we wanted to do our fifth year anniversary as a special, very special event. And um, so we're going to expand as much as we can in 2023. And we're going to do some fun things for those who've been coming around. We're going to have special um, uh, rewards, loyalty points, whatever you want to call them. We haven't come up with a good name for it yet. But there's going to be special perks for those who um, have proof that they've been coming year after year. And uh, ever been on a cruise line? A, like a lot of the cruise lines do it where after you've been on so many cruises with them, you, you gain into like a new tier and then, Oh, all of a sudden you get a different lanyard color when you go on the cruise, like Disney does it where you get the gold color lanyard after five cruises and things like that. So we're going to be doing fun things like that. And uh, they're, they're valid at any of the locations for so magical. <laughs> oh yes. We took tons of photos and tons of videos. So we're going to try to, keep rolling out um, all those stuff. So it's fun because this year for Gaylord Palms in 2022, we're going to be um, in most of where we're going to be located is in the new addition they just added, which is the coastal section uh, to the convention center. And then Gaylord Texan, we're in the new section that they just built there, which is the vineyard, um, the vineyard tower. Um, so we're in both the new sections for 22 Florida and 23 Texans. Very cool. <laughs> yes, diamond member for Royal Caribbean and pin to prove it. Yeah, I think I'm I'm definitely gold now for Disney Cruise Line, but I, that's nothing. 
Um, and then and put a bodge. I was supposed to be at the next here by now, but I'm not because COVID put a damper on my cruise plans. Oh, got to pick up back on it soon. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we're we're definitely growing. We're we're moving on up that ladder. And uh, so next year's year five is the big year for sure. And we're pulling out all the stops. So don't worry. All the fun announcements are going to keep coming. Oh, thanks, Melanie. It's like, but to me, it's we're growing together. I like to grow with my vendors and with my guests, uh, the people that have been coming since year one. Um, Y'all have my heart. They're part of the So Magical family. And then we've get amazing vendors like Melanie who just come year after year and um, we grow when you grow and vice versa. And we just want to keep the family, um, the family feeling and we want to keep it, keep it growing year after year, family feeling with adult nighttime <laughs> classes and activities. Oh my gosh. Yes. I miss cruises too, Michelle so much. <laughs> oh, I did want to mention to, um, for anybody, there are some Patreon spots open again. Um, we had uh, a couple spots reopen. And we will be having on Tuesday will be our monthly live Zoom call. This is not a live like what we're doing right now. It is a Zoom call. So, I mean, you don't have to show. <gasps> oh, no. Where did I go? Can you all hear me still? That was so weird. I lost my camera for a second. <laughs> um, sorry. So on Tuesday, we will do our, our Zoom call. You don't have to show your face, but people uh, call in and we just chat. And it's um, some things we talk about. We spill the tea sometimes on So Magical Stuff. Sometimes I get insider information. Sometimes it's us just joking around. But we have a saying, what happens on Patreon stays on Patreon. <laughs> um, so they're not recorded. You can't watch them later. Um, it's live participation. Uh, you can join if you want. Um, but they are a lot of fun. Um, the past several have gone very long. <laughs> uh, but we have some amazing folks who come and join us on those. So if you want, there's still time to join. Uh, the Zoom call is only currently available for the $5 tier and above, not the $1 tier. Um, Yes. Thank God they're not recorded. They are not recorded. <laughs> but if you want to join, go ahead and you can go type in this link in. Um, make sure to join in the $5 tier or above. There are spaces available in all those. I, on some of the other ones, I think 5 and $10 definitely have space right now. And then for Patreon, we are going to be revamping that here in the next couple months um, to update, add new tiers, update the perks, um, that have now expired and things of that nature. So, hi, Sybil. Welcome. I've lo I'm loving these um, comments, by the way, about cruises. Uh, I'm not missing them, I promise. Cruise in one week. Congrats, Deanna. I want to go on a cruise so bad. Take me with you. I will fit in a suitcase, I promise. Like, I can fit. I'm I'm very short. I'm very short. I can fit. I might. I will definitely hit the overweight fee if you have to fly. But, you know, I'll pay that at cost. <laughs> Um, so magical expo cruise. Yes. Um, goals, goals for one day. Uh, we have all the lists of where we want to go and where y'all say we, you want us to go. And there's lots of fun plans in the work or, uh, on the books to be worked here in the next couple years. So we're not, we're not stopping. We're not slowing down. We're just going to get bigger and we're going to get better. Um, and uh, keep keep that magical feeling alive. I just got back from a cruise and it's amazing. Oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> I've been seeing everybody's cruise photos lately and their videos. And I'm just like, man, take me with you, please. I can be bribed. Thank God. They're oh, yes. Sorry. I already read that one. Um, okay. So this is the part of uh, the wine and chat where you can ask me anything. Ask me anything at all. Uh, related to Gaylord, Florida, um, Gaylord Palms, Gaylord, Texas, or Texan. Uh, they all have, they're all themed. So Gaylord Palms has a very tropical theme. All the names there are Florida names. Same with Texan. All the names there are all uh, like cities and locations in, in Texas. 
So it's very cool. <gasps> Alex, you've never been on a cruise. They're so fun. You should definitely do it. Definitely do a cruise. Um, so glad we're staying with the Gaylord. Uh, it was hard. It was a hard decision, but we definitely decided for Texas. Um, Texas was um, on the top of the list to expand out to. And so when we went out there, we looked around quite a bit and we just, the luxury feeling um, you get on um, for the cost that y'all pay for your rooms is you can't beat it. Um, they're not, they're not, you know, um, on the low end of cost for hotels, obviously. But when you look at what you're paying for that compared to some of the hotel, other hotels, you'd pay about the same price. And what you get, you don't, I, you don't have to leave the hotel. So Gaylord Texan has a shuttle too that takes you around to different um, things in that area. So they have like a little water park in the front. Um, it won't be open in February, most likely, but you know, they have a shuttle to take you there. Um, they, they just have so many unique things. They're on a lake. They have, um, uh, this, it's like a, a club type. I don't know how we, it's called the glass cactus, but they have, they, when we were there, they had, um, a jazz saxophonist there one night. They had an illusionist there another night. They have different shows and stuff that you can go to. And it's like um, it's like a little separate venue, but it's right there on property. So you can take the shuttle or walk over there. Um, there's several restaurants of different price points that you can go to. There's so much options. By the way, anybody notice my wine and chat cup for the day? I need one of these for Gaylord Palms now, too. I'm, I was very excited when I found this. I'm like, I hate it. New wine and chat cup. <laughs> this should be the, the, the announcement. <laughs> Giller Texan. Um, so it was it was such a beautiful hotel. You really didn't have to leave it. Um, kept finding little different nooks and crannies that you could go sit in or just relax in. Um, very 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 pretty hotel. Um, lots lots of space outside as well for you to look at. Um. Tell the people about the armadillo. Oh my gosh. Okay. So all the gay lords have um, different things going on during the year. So right now they have Winterfest going on at Gaylord Texan. Um, and they have different things going on. So the Winterfest had on Saturday night, they had a. Sorry, I was blocking something. Um, <laughs> they, sorry, I just read another comment and threw me off. They had on Saturday, they had animals. They had creatures that they brought in from wildlife. It was like a wildlife zoo type program. And they brought them in and they had four of them. And they had like a little lemur. They had um, a little baby anteater who's adorable. And then they had the armadillo who was going crazy in his little cage rolling around and Michelle looked like she was about to cry when she saw the armadillo. She's always wanted to see an armadillo up close. Um, but they had the little animals, the little critters there on Saturday. I oh, mean, they always had something going on somewhere in the hotel. They had, um, gosh, there was always music playing. I don't, I, there was just so much to see and so much to do. They had the, they, the virtual animal thing where you could go up with your phone and you can see like an elephant standing in front of you. It was really cool. Just lots to see and do. I've never been in one either. Oh my gosh. All right, everybody. All right. So it sounds like just so y'all can go on a cruise for your first time, we have to do so magical at sea, right? <laughs> let me, let me put in some work guys. I'll, I'll put in some work. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Um, let's see. When will more nice rooms be available at Gaylor Palms? I got two nights. So as of right now, we are currently sold out on the additional room block that we already got. Gaylor Palms is constantly looking to make sure and see if they can provide us more rooms. As of right now, we're sold out and they're not giving us more. Sometimes it changes as we get closer, but I'm talking like a month to two months out. So just keep an eye out as we get closer. 
we will make an announcement if they can give us more rooms. As of right now, we we are currently booked out of our room block, um, which is the discounted room block. You can add more nights at the full cost, uh, the non-discounted rate. Um, I do not know for a fact if they honor the discounted rate. Like if you call and say, hey, I'm in this room block. Can you give me the discounted room rate instead? I don't know if they do that or not. Um, but um, those are your options. So if as we get really, really close, if you need to ex extend and we don't get the discounted rooms, I would suggest adding them on at the regular cost. Um, but uh, we will know for sure as we get closer. So unfortunately, right now we are currently fully sold out. And we got a very large second block. Let's just say that. Uh, and I'm amazed by booking out again. Oh, my goodness. So I hope you all can still see me. My, I don't know why, but my camera keeps cutting out on me. <clears throat> all right. We need to talk about the So Magical party bus to take us all from Florida to Texas. Um, yeah, Catherine, if you want to go ahead and uh, try to get that scheduled, I bet you people would join in on that because there's quite a bit of y'all that want to go out there. And it's because we we have to drive out ourselves because we have to haul out the trailer out there with all of our stuff. Um, <laughs> I keep reading this comment from Melanie and this is why I'm laughing. But uh, so, yeah, it's only like if you take like a an actual bus, y'all can sleep on the bus rather than get a hotel room. As long as the driver can drive out that long. I don't know. I don't know how that works. So I, I highly suggest looking into it because I think quite a few people would be in for that and not having to drive themselves. How big is your garage? <laughs> this is what I was laughing at. I ha I may have to ship boxes every so often for you to the show. <laughs> All right. Everybody, Zarel's going to go a little cuckoo for coconuts on her booth for <laughs> Florida and Texas. <laughs> Oh, yes. And it wasn't a regular armadillo. It was a baby one. And they wouldn't let... No, they weren't going to let you take it on the plane either. Can you imagine? This is my support animal. He is an armadillo. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Funny story about support animals um, or service animals. Let me rephrase it. Service animals. They... Um, I asked... There's a couple of questions I always ask when I go to do tours of different locations. And one of them is always, what's your ADA? What's your serviceability? Um what, what do you, what do you do for ADM? Do you allow service animals? You know, um, what do you do for those who are hard of hearing, um, hard of sight, things like that. And, uh, they go, of course we allow service animals. I'm like, oh, wonderful. They're like, oh yeah, we get all sorts of them. And I'm like, oh yeah, I've seen people with like dogs. I've seen some with like birds and occasionally a cat. And they're like, oh yeah. And horses. I go, Horses, they like, oh yeah, the miniature horses, people bring them in and the miniature horses sleep in the room with them. I'm like, what? And they're like, yeah, they're just not allowed in the pools. And I'm like, who's not allowed in the pools? The horses? They're like, service animals are not allowed in the pool area. I'm like, good to know. So just be aware if anybody has a um, service miniature horse, which I'm so happy to hear that's a thing because I think that is so freaking cool. Um, you are allowed to bring them to Gaylord Texan, just FYI. Oh, yes, that's right. They had the painting. They did have the painting. Um, and it was really cool because at first it looked like it was a kid thing, but we saw a lot of grownups leaving out of there too. And it was all hours of the day. It wasn't like a, a paint and sip type thing. Um, and then they had the bingo. And the escape rooms were really cool too. Those were open a couple days. And they were like down in this bottom floor. So fun fact too about Gaylords. I learned a lot about Gaylords this past, you know, couple weeks. Uh, Gaylords are built like Magic Kingdom. They're built on the second story. So there's tunnels underneath all the Gaylords. And that's why you don't see a lot of their service members um, and their staff walking around because they're all underneath and they just pop up wherever they're meant to pop up. <laughs> So um, I thought that was really cool. So the escape room was in the middle of the atrium, but it was a walkway down. And I just, it blew my mind that it could go that deep down. But then I realized there's corridors as well that you can't see down there. Excuse me, as well. So I just thought it was really neat. But the escape rooms look a lot of fun. Um, oh, Lizette says they do not honor the discounted rate. Okay, good to know. I was not aware. And I, now I know. <laughs> 
Oh, Melanie, you're just asking about Florida. All right. Bring it on, sister. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're cracking me up. Let's see. Oh, Catherine knows this from, from facts about the buses. Oh, this is so interesting. See, you're perfect. You can schedule this now. They switch drivers every 10 hours or so. They You have experience with JROTC and Boy Scout buses. That is very cool. And that's nice because um, you could just make stops, right? And then you just get there a lot. You're going to get there a lot faster than I ever will. That's so cool to hear. So, I mean, if anybody else is interested in the party bus um, or the so magical bus, from Florida to Texas, um, contact Catherine. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm signing you up. You, you came up with the idea. <laughs> um, I'll leave my service right now. <laughs> it could be a stuffy. <laughs> I can't imagine, you know, I mean, I'm, if you can get it passed by law, I'm sure you, you're, it's allowable, right? Oh, an escape room. No, we did not do the escape room. Um, we were very busy the whole weekend <laughs> trying to get all the things done. I did not get as much done as I wanted to when I was in Texas, but I think it'd be really cool to do it. I love escape rooms. I think they're so fun. We could have like a whole competition too. Ooh, that'd be a fun meetup, escape room meetup. And it wasn't free. Some of the Winterfest things were free, like the animal um the painting they pay you had to pay for escape room some things were free and some things were you had to pay for but i think that would be fun as well people's true personalities come out in escape rooms i'm just saying that too you learn people's true identities in escape rooms <laughs> oh sybil sybil's uh, thinks it's cool too so magical bus and we can wrap the vinyl you can do a vinyl wrap on the bus with the logo. That would be a really cool advertisement. Just seeing so magical haul down the highways. I love it. I'm here for it. <laughs> do we have any and any more questions about Florida or Texas? Um, I'm all game. I'm here for it. Let me know. Um, and if you don't have questions, tell me what are you working on right now. It's another one of my favorite uh, wine and chat questions. Um, so yeah, and again, you can still ask me questions, but tell me what's everybody working on right now. I will say this also about Gaylord Texan, and it's on all the Gaylords that I've noticed, is their spa is amazing. Um, uh, I was able to get, and Michelle did as well, a spa treatment while we were there. Um, we got the de-stressing massage, is what I got. And it was really relaxing. And they even had like a steam room and a sauna. And they had this room that was called the slumber room with zero gravity chairs. I need one in my house so bad. I was so relaxed. I just felt like completely weightless. I didn't realize until I got down how weightless I felt when I was in the chair. And then I got down. I'm like, oh, I feel like I went from like literally floating in space to just being totally grounded. And yes, the spa was amazing. I highly suggest when y'all are there to check out those spa. They have everything. Like you can get your nails done, your hair done, new massages. Um, I think they have a package where you can just do like the steam room, sauna type situation. Um, also, for those who still like to swim, even when it's cold outside, they have one indoor pool at Gaylord Texan that you can go to. It's right next to the spa. Um, it's not a lot pool or traditional lap pool, for instance, but, and it was warm in there too. So it was warmer than the rest of the hotel. So it definitely, um, it felt really nice to walk in there. So you can still bring your bathing suits to Gaylord Texan in February. If you want to go swimming, <laughs> I know there's a lot of places where, where it gets very cold certain times of the years that have indoor pools. So I thought that was neat. I'm a Floridian. I'm just used to all outside pools. Okay, Melanie's crocheting. You know what? I want more yarn arts at So Magical. I think that'd be cool. I love seeing the companies that do the the dyeing of the yarn and they have like different gradients and stuff. I think it's beautiful. That was my first craft that I learned was crocheting. My left-handed grandma taught me because I'm left-handed how to crochet because nobody else wanted to learn and she could only teach left-handed. <laughs> Fun fact. 
two family travel planners. I love those uh, those planners. They're so so convenient, especially if you have a larger family because they hold a lot of passports. Sybil's working on her first quilt. That's awesome. Congrats. I am not a quilter. I've done it not like traditional quilting. Like I've attempted a couple things. They looked cute. That was it. <laughs> but I props to you for doing a quilt. That's so cool. Stitch Strike. Lens Sport Backpack. Ooh, fun. I love the Lens Sport too. So cool. Oh, Alex says a party bus would be the only way to make the drive on I-10 enjoyable. Amen. I, I mean, hate I-4 as well, but I-10, who that one's not fun either. I've, I've been on I-10 quite a few times. 95 is not that much fun either. Let's put it that way. <laughs> um, anything with I on it, they're not fun. So yeah, a, a party bus, a so magical party bus. <laughs> Let's see. Finish my strikes for SAS. So awesome supplies. And now I want to start a flower and garden fest. Guardian and Dana's. Oh, yes. Flower and garden is coming up at Epcot. I'm very excited. I was going to try to get out to Epcot this weekend. To There's one of my favorite artists, uh, Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Um, I have several of her pieces of art in here and all signed and I love meeting her she's a Floridian and she's she's a sweetheart so I was gonna try to make it out to see her this weekend we'll see fingers crossed uh let's see let's see sewing more masks and have my first meeting with a gal commissioning a wedding gown oh my gosh Catherine you're gonna be amazing if you can sew a ball gown and all these other crazy dresses you're gonna be just fine making a wedding gown I i believing you trust me <laughs> but that's congratulations that's amazing andy we're working on new designs for uh the andy is part of glitterbook fairy um and that's gbf they're one of our vendors as well for florida 2022 i feel like i gotta put the date in the the state every time because eventually we're gonna announce 2023 florida dates and i'm gonna be like what year are we talking about <laughs> Good problem to have, right? So, yes, working on new designs. I saw that. I'm very excited to see what they are. I finally caved and bought the, the wristlet straps from y'all. I have my package somewhere. We're going to do a live unboxing video, I think, next week. Right, Michelle? Um, and definitely show y'all some packages that we've been receiving in over the past couple weeks. They had good snackies. Oh, yes. The spa did have really good snacks, too. It was awesome. Just finished binding a quilt. Oh, that's awesome. I feel like bindings, like, it's just like like that last step. <laughs> Does a grocery list count? Yes, that counts. You're making it. You created it. You crafted that list. <laughs> now go make it. <laughs> Um, my dad taught me to crochet. Also my first craft. That's like so many people are saying that. Look at this. Another Michelle was it was her first craft. I feel like it is a really good introductory. You can teach a kid on it. And it's just so fun because you can make something small. You can make something big. The possibilities are endless. Terry said this was my second and last quilt. I like bag making better. Amen. I'm right there with you. I prefer making clothes and bags any day over over quilts but i mean to each their own there's a reason why quilt shows and expos and conventions are so big because there's so many quilt makers it blows my mind but we'll be your one-stop shop for uh bag making expos how about that <laughs> when do we sign up for tickets and hotel for texas so we're going to announce the dates for ticket sales and hotel openings here in the next few months this spring we're going to announce all that information we did want to just announce the dates for texas so that everybody could you know get the time off work uh as you needed to because i know a lot of people have to put it in like a year out make sure you all start looking and budgeting and planning so um we won't have the tickets and hotel information out just yet but don't worry we'll announce it like we always do and we'll blast it everywhere and make sure everybody knows well in advance of when the tickets were actually released and then 
um, we will do a better job in making sure like everybody knows well in advance of when the hotel is going to um, hotel link is going to open up as um, for Texan. <laughs> sure, I love unboxings. Yeah, we got a lot of unboxings. I just said this week was a busy week, y'all. Busy, busy. Oh, and look, Alex did crocheting too. Right handed aunt had to sit in front of me, but she didn't teach me how to turn around. <laughs> That's the hard part. I'm an all quilt makers, but I have, I know my strength. That's smart. I agree. I agree. Um, I don't know how they do it. I can't, I mean, at least with bag making, you need to be fairly precise when you're cutting. But if I screw up on cutting, it's not the end of it. I can still make a bag look pretty. Same with clothing. Knit stretch. It's wonderful. Mm -mm. Quilt making? Nope, nope. <laughs> Enough time to book the grapevine wine tour. <gasps> Is this in... I haven't heard of this. Tell me more, Lizette. <laughs> I love this. Yes, I've been, I was trying to find out as much as I can about the Gaylord Texan area. Highly suggest if you're a Dallas Cowboys fan, going taking the stadium tour. We did that. It was very cool. I'm not a Cowboys fan. Um, and definitely it was hard to uh, hear all the gloating about Texas. Uh, but I think the stadium is amazing. I think it's the biggest one or most expensive one or something like that. It it, it was gorgeous. It was a very nice stadium. Um, but highly suggest checking that out. Oh, didn't make it out to too many places. But... They do have a really cool, like, I don't even know what you call it. It's not a fabric district, but there's this weird clump in Dallas of a ton of stores that have, and this is where Sunny Sewing Machines, I got to go out and see Sam again from Sunny Sewing Machines. If y'all are in Sew Whatever bag making group for, by Lauren Mormino, um, they talk about, Sam's on there. I think he's taking a little hiatus from social media, but he, um, he, he was there. I've talked to him plenty of times. We're trying to schmooze him into being a vendor for uh, Texas. We'll see if that plans out okay. And having industrial machines. And they have um, a ton of thread as well. They have, they had 275 weight thread. I'm like, what do you use that for? So funny story, they have, uh, GM has a, manufacturing plant there and it's where they do a lot of their um their upholstery for the cars and things like that and so they even had an industrial machine that could take that weight thread and the needle was insanely huge like biggest needle i've ever seen so i was like i would not want to sew this i would sew through my finger and i would have no finger left it was huge but it was really cool. Uh, but I've been there before. They have a ton of these. And it's like an industrial area. So it's just these massive warehouse filled with like fabric and vinyls. It's all, nothing's custom or like super unique. And a lot of the stores are duplicates of each other. Like They have a lot of the same things. Uh, but it is really cool to go through there. So I think it would be neat if, you know, after you've spent all your money at Expo, if you want to like venture out to Dallas. <laughs> Um, yes, was that we need more information on this tour. That sounds amazing. Melanie says, my grandma made quilts. She made me, she had me sew the squares together. Oh gosh. <laughs> the squares, I guess, aren't as hard, right? <laughs> as long as you line them up perfectly. I feel like I can never do that either. That tour goes with the party bus. Oh, there you go. There you go, Catherine. Yeah, the stadium tour was very, very cool. Love that. Props to Michelle for um, scheduling that for us. And then, yes, come on, Sam. Yeah, I think he's he's going to convince them. So I'm excited. We might have industrial machines for Texas. So all my bag, bag makers, where you at? They also have industrial sergers, too. They had industrial sergers. And um, anybody ever watch the videos? that Lauren Mormino does where she does like the, the, it's like the chain stitching, but it's like free motion. They have one of those. Um, oh, and then casting hand grafted's out there and they, she's gotten some machines from sunny sewing machine too. She showed it on her YouTube video. 
Um, so I thought that was really cool. So we've got a lot of people who who are fans of them. <laughs> industrial machines. Now I know I need the bus. Good point. You could. Could you fit an industrial box under the bus? Catherine, do you need the bus just to yourself? Now I'm curious. <laughs> How big of a bus are you going to get? <laughs> The top of the quilt is great. The quilting kill me. Yeah. Uh, hmm. No, no quilting for me. <laughs> but props to anybody who can make a quilt and enjoys doing it. Uh, yeah, because I know there's like a big quilt thing going on in, in Phoenix right now. I had just heard about them. Was it Quilt Con or something? They're supposed to be the modern quilt show. I thought it was unique. I've been following them on social media. Um, I don't think they have page but i've been following their hashtag so i see what other people are posting about uh anybody going out to daytona next weekend for what's it called quilt week there you go i think it's hosted by aqs american quilt society the there's a show out in daytona we're going out to support sewing studios going to be out there and off the wall quilts so we're going to go and I think Vivalux is going to be out there, which is another one of our vendors. So we have several vendors that are going to be out there. So we're going to go support them, go walk around and talk to individuals. Yep, Michelle's going to Daytona. Anybody else? I think I saw I saw somebody else post that they were going to go. They won a ticket. Libby. Libby won a ticket. Sewing Studio did a giveaway of tickets to that, to that show, which I thought was really cool. And she was one of the winners. So... If anybody sees us there, I'll have a special swag for you. You can come and grab some from me if you just come and say hi. Uh, yes, QuiltCon. That is right. That's the one going on in Phoenix right now. It's a fairly big show, too. I was watching all the videos. So, yeah. So, we'll be in Daytona next weekend. And then Parker on the Porch event is coming up at Sewing Studio as well here in the next month in March. That'll be cool. Finally get to meet the owner of Parker on the Porch. I'm very excited for that. And then, yeah, and then OSQE is the weekend after that. We have a very busy March. And it's Luke's birthday. Luke's birthday is March. We're very excited. Uh, he's still deciding exactly what he wants to do. And y'all are cracking me up on several of y'all have been tagging me in. There's this thing called Dinosaur and Dragon Stroll. And there's a couple locations in Florida that are going to. It's like one of those touring things so uh we've been talking about trying to hit out there and see it as well yes very excited for uh pop yes i'm gonna be going um i'll be at the park on the porch meetup on i think it's friday night or thursday night i can't remember it's on my calendar but yes i'm in the saturday morning class so if you're in the saturday class for park on the porch say hi i'll be in there too i don't know how many seats they sold to that uh, but I think it's a hotel near sewing studio in Maitland. I believe it's a Hilton brand hotel. Michelle comment because I'm blanking. <laughs> uh, yes. Friday night is the meetup. So if you got into the class, there's a special meetup at sewing studio where you can do special shopping and, um, chat with, um, the woman who owns Parker on the porch and then Saturday, we're taking the Saturday class. There is a Friday class as well, but I believe both are now sold out. I don't know. You'd have to go look at their website and see. Hilton Garden Garden Inn. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so I, that one's in Maitland near Sewing Studio. So that's where it's taking place. And I think they have rooms available as well if you wanted to stay out there. But yes. Sybil, are you going to it as well? I'm excited. It's not very often that I go out and actually take a class. I actually have to rent a machine. I need a I need to rent a machine because my embroidery hoop size isn't big enough. <laughs> I'm slacking. I, my my hoop only goes to five by seven, and I think they said they you need at least a six by ten. I'm like, oh, this is how they're gonna get me into buying a bigger machine. I'm just saying. Yes, they've been sold out since January. Yeah, I think I bought mine back in. I think I bought mine in January when they opened up the Saturday class because I didn't get the Friday one quick enough. So, ooh, Sybil, you're gonna be there. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have my so magical fam, my so magical squad. I'm gonna go sit with y'all. I'm so excited. 
I'm sick. I'm excited because I get to be part of the class too. I'm just gonna be, yeah. I'm gonna be able to experience what y'all experience when you come to our classes. <laughs> Yay, Andrew in the Saturday class. Woohoo! Uh, it's gonna be so fun. I want, I need to make like a shirt or something. Um, yeah, Friday classes sold out very fast. That's okay. I don't think I was gonna be able to make Friday. Oh yes, and our favorite teacher Fran is assisting that day. Uh, she always is teaching. So whenever they come out to So Magical Expo, majority of their embroidery patterns they teach are Parker on the Porch patterns. And you get the you when you buy the class kit, you get all the materials for that class. But you also get the embroidery design, so you can go back at home. Like we in the past, we've taught the Clutch 2.0. People make it in the class and then they get that embroidery file and then they can make more at home for later. And that's a really easy in the hoop. So so people make them for shows all the time. <laughs> Congratulations, Alex, on completing your list. Have fun on your grocery store trip. <laughs> oh, you're on the wait list. Wow. Well, hopefully somebody drops out so you can join us, Catherine. <laughs> OMG just thought of a shirt idea. Oh, Lord. I'm always getting shirt ideas from Michelle. <laughs> I have so much so magical swag now. I'm so glad we got the we we can make our and produce our own swag now. All right, so do we have any more questions? We're over our hour, but I see we have all y'all here. We're very excited for both Florida. Florida, we're we're just I have quite a few more vendor applications to get to in my inbox. I've been trying to get to them every day and send out uh, their responses. And we will end up booking out the vendor spaces. So if if you know of somebody who is contemplating it, make sure they come and ask me questions if they have any questions. Um, that way we can, we can get talking and we can make sure they get a, a spot reserved. Um, and then, uh, yeah, always, always send out those send out to those companies and let them know that you know, here's a link. I think you should join because it means a lot coming from people that are actually going to spend their money versus the event planners. And then what else was I going to tell you? Texas. We're super excited for Texas. I I'm so thrilled. I'm, and we're very excited that we don't have to keep it a secret anymore because it was getting very hard. Like I couldn't post any photos. I couldn't post any pictures. Uh, we have so many hilarious stories. I'm saving some of them for Patreon. Uh, but yes, y'all cracked me up with the ducky photo and guessing it was an out-of-state airport. That was definitely when we were stuck in the airport for hours <laughs> in Jacksonville. Um, yes, it was so hard to keep the secrets, Michelle. So hard. So difficult. And uh, so I'm I'm very thrilled that we can keep this. We can uh, release the secrets and tell y'all all the details. All right. So I think y'all are dropping off now. Let's see. Thank you. So happy for Saturday wine and chat. See you Patreon Tuesday. Yes. I'm glad you can make it on Catherine. And yes, we'll see you on Patreon Zoom call on, on Tuesday. We got some good stories for y'all. I'm excited. <laughs> um, all right. So I'm going to drop off and I'm going to go answer some vendor emails for Florida. I hope y'all have a great rest of your weekend and I'll see y'all soon. Bye everybody.